Marcus Rashford has been a thorn in the side of the Conservatives with his campaigns to feed hungry kids. Yes, that is something our governing party are averse to doing. Now, that context meant that right-wing pundits were quick to jump on the opportunity of Rashford missing a penalty to have a dig at the footballer. One of those was Darren Grimes. He tweeted, Honestly, though, Marcus Rashford, penalties, not politics from now on, eh? Now, that was an incredibly unpleasant response from a professional Twitter troll. It got ratioed um, on social media. It didn't go down very well. And we're not going to go through all of the all of the reactions. I just want to show you one response, which is pretty indicative of the attitudes of, of most people to, to that comment from Grimes. This is Navarro Media's very own James Butler. He responded, Rashford is an internationally acclaimed athlete who has changed thousands of children's lives for the better in his spare time. You're a grifting parasite reviled even by those on your own side. Shut your mouth. Ouch. Um, that tweet, by the way, got a lot more likes than Darren Grimes original one. Of course, um, Grimes is someone whose whole career is based on creating these controversies, soiling himself in public for attention. We aren't going to spend a segment talking about him. However, the reason this is relevant is because while the likes of Darren Grimes expressed this publicly, there were people in positions of much greater significance who were thinking the same thing and saying it privately. Now, one of those was Conservative MP Natalie Elphick. Now, this is a leaked message to a Tory WhatsApp group. So Natalie Elphick said, they lost. Would it be ungenerous to suggest Rashford should have spent more time perfecting his game and less time playing politics? That's basically exactly what Darren Grimes was saying, but she's saying it in private. Now, the watermark you can see there is because this tweet was leaked to GB News. Aaron, my question for you is how much separates those sitting on the Tory benches from you know the nastiest trolls on right-wing Twitter? They're obviously not brave enough to say this publicly, but they're saying it. Well, this isn't even privately, is it? Because it's to all the other, other Tory MPs. It's not just being whispered under her breath. Yes, yeah, it's, it's clearly a spectrum, isn't it? Um, look, I, I think this is an important thing to say, Michael. Marcus Rashford is famous and he earns lots of money because he's a good footballer. So, of course, the, his priority should obviously be, you know, being a good footballer. But when you're a footballer, you have a lot of spare time, like a lot. You need time for recovery. You can only train so many hours a day. You're only maximum playing two games a week. There's only so much football you can do, right? And so you have lots of time to recover. And what this has been sort of historically is that you get lots of young men, too much time, too much money, uh, developing addiction problems. Keith Gillespie uh, developed a gambling problem. There's one memorable example, Tony Adams with alcoholism. And, and this is a, a repeated theme. And even people who didn't develop gambling addictions, you know, gambling was rife. You have some of the stories, for instance, with the England teams in the early 2000s, of some of the gambling debts they owed each other from playing cards. You have lots of spare time. And what Marcus Rashford has decided to do with this spare time is to basically help the most vulnerable uh, the most exploited, the left behind uh, people of this country, young kids that can't get school dinners. He's done his book to inspire young people to read. Uh, he's tried to, and he's been successful in changing government policy on a, on a range of issues uh, that have really affected low income people again, particularly particularly kids. And so that, that's that's how he's decided to spend his time. Now I wonder, do Tories and Tory MPs and and and, and this lady here, uh, Natalie Elphick, was it Michael? Do, yeah. do Tories like this? Would they rather you have a footballer like Keith Gillespie, too much time, too much money, developing addiction problems which destroy their lives, or they could be like Marcus Rashford, and it should be said other footballers too, by the way, he's not unique in doing this, who say, I have this spare time, I have these resources, most importantly, I have a profile where actually I can change things for the better. And Rashford's been very honest about this. He said, look, I might only have 10 years of fame, right? I mean, in all likelihood, that's what will happen. 20 to 30, maybe a bit more if you're lucky, but 10 years of fame. And he wants to use it for social good. What he's doing is very political, Michael. He's playing a very active role as a citizen in the country's politics. They don't want him to do that. And so this nonsense that you got from Natalie Elphick, but also from Darren Grimes, that he needs to focus on penalties and not you know, poverty or politics, it's crap. They don't know what they're talking about. They're snobs who, uh, you know, uh, an original idea in regards to football or actually public policy or actually just helping other people has never entered their heads. So Marcus Rashford is the third fastest Man United player in the Premier League era to reach 50 goals after Wayne Rooney and Cristiano Ronaldo. 
Darren Grimes still has his mum do his cleaning because he lives in our basement. Anyway, I want to get back to Natalie Alfred because as I say, she's the most significant person here. She, I assume, on learning that her private WhatsApp um, message was about to be leak, leaked, um, put this tweet out publicly. So she said, last night, I shared the frustration and heartbreak of millions of England fans. The team gave their all. Congratulations and onwards to the World Cup. Now, why I think this is a particularly pathetic tweet from this Tory MP is that first sentence. Last night, I shared the frustration and heartbreak of millions of England fans. And why I think that's just so cowardly is because she's doing what these right-wing, ideological, vicious conservatives like to do when they are you know, essentially dismissing or abusing black players, which is to say, oh, what I expressed, you might find it objectionable, but ultimately I'm just expressing the will of millions of good, honest people in the country. Now, that's just not the case here, right? I mean, what we see from polling here is that people are overwhelmingly supportive of Gareth Southgate and what he stands for. They're overwhelmingly supportive of the England football team. They aren't annoyed that Marcus Rashford is standing up for hungry kids. They're incredibly supportive of it because the extreme opinions of Natalie Alphick, which is that this incredibly articulate, brave footballer should stop trying to feed hungry kids, right? When she says that, she's not representing millions of people in this country. She's representing a really vicious minority whose influence is massively um, over-exaggerated because we have an incredibly right-wing, billionaire-owned press, right? So, so this idea, I was just sharing the frustration and heartbreak of millions. No, you were just showing yourself to be the reactionary, you know, vicious, bigger that you are.